Arizona's public schools are at the center of some politically charged school board races and bond elections that could dramatically impact classrooms. Joe Dana covers school board battlegrounds and tell us what's shaking out in the numbers. We're seeing two trends right now, a political split in the school board races, and we're seeing most bonds and overrides passing. Let's start there. As of this afternoon, 18 bonds and overrides are in the yes column with current vote totals, nine in the no column. That's a slightly worse ratio than what we've seen the last couple election cycles. District leaders say they've battled negative publicity, making it harder to pass these initiatives. Bonds and overrides are property taxes or continuations of existing taxes for things like all-day kindergarten, construction, technology, and teacher support. Key districts that are behind in their bonds and overrides? Dysart, Deer Valley Unified, and Peoria Unified in the West Valley. In the East Valley, Chandler Unified and Higley Unified are also behind. The percentages are narrow in some of these districts, so we'll keep an eye on them. Meanwhile, as we've told you, school board races are political battlegrounds whether we like it or not. And we saw hundreds of thousands of dollars poured into several school board races. And it's a mixed bag for both sides. For example, in Scottsdale Unified, the most expensive school board battleground, the teachers union backed team of Sharkey, Lewis and Patinsky is leading. They were going up against candidates backed by the socially conservative 1776 project. Teachers union candidates are also poised to get a majority or all of the open seats in Paradise Valley, Mesa Unified and Chandler Unified. On the other hand, all three candidates backed by the 1776 project are leading in Peoria Unified, and two of the three are leading in Deer Valley Unified. Still a lot of votes to be counted. Some of these races are separated by just a few hundred votes. You can find out the latest at 12news.com. Joe Dana, 12 News.